All right, make sure y'all like this video, man. I'm showing all the jump shots in the beginning for you Christmas noobs and people who are just struggling how to play, which is 90% of all users who play this game, okay? And make sure you subscribe if you do. No one will know if you do those two either things. They are free. So look, man, before we really get into it, bro, listen, listen, guys, master your craft. Stop playing online if you can't shoot, bro. Okay, I am putting myself. Okay, I'm a I'm a normal 95 win percent every year, right? Easily, like all modes destroy people, right? Can even just go bang and destroy stage guys with bot. Listen, every time I play with randoms, no one can shoot. That's who most of y'all are playing with. Most of y'all are the randoms, bro. Listen, stop playing online if you can't shoot, bro. You're ruining your experience and your teammates experience it's just not good bro how are you gonna have fun just grabbing the ball holding square to the rim and you only make like two out of ten of those if like you're just some random person or like bro think bro you want everyone to just play off you and stand in the paint how is that fun make people pay bro learn to shoot bro get your badges right find you a jump shot practice bro learn to shoot please spread this message bro when i go play with randoms i should not be being triple teamed i pass it to someone and they miss that's insane like every time like one in seven oh bro even on 2k22 the easiest shooting 2k ever it was the same when i play with randoms you guys there is a sickness in this community okay Y'all might want to go to that COD easy casuals, you know, but bro, wide open? Come on, bro. There comes a time in life where we have to grow up. Grown men out there missing wide open that claim to watch so much basketball, know so much about basketball, but can't time a jump shot wide open? Come on, bro. We got to evolve as humans, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to say that. But hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga in existence. And um, this jump shot right here, okay. If you have like a 79 three point, this is probably like the best jump shot in the game. Even if you're gonna use it for other big builds, this jump shot is very, it has a big green window. It's very easy to time. By the way, I use very late on all my jump shots. The uh, release time, and I'll show you that later. Give you some more shooting tips within the video. But um, this jump shot right here, man, uh, you can make it even lower, okay? You can make it even lower, you see, by just moving that. For if you have a lower, and you know, the base matters the most out of everything, bro. But this is the normal, you know, yeah. Helping out you damn Christmas news. And this jump shot right here, Kyle Kuzma, bro, okay? You need an 83 jump shot for this, 6'5 through 6'10, which is most people are. This jump shot is very good, man. It might be better than the, uh, but this is another top jump shot, okay? This is a little quicker. I'm gonna show you another one, okay? These are the top jump shots in the game. This jump shot right here. Now look, it's for 85, okay? Of course, if you switch the releases, you can get it lower. This is a nice jump shot. It has like a smaller green window, but it can be green more often if you time it right. Use your elbow as a cue. As soon as it like go up, if you let go, it's green every time. These jump shots work for current and next, by the way. And if you have an 80 plus win percent on current or next, hit me up. There's another great jump shot with a big green window, man. Check it out. But you need an 89.3 for, you know, these releases and stuff. You, know, you can switch it, you know, do more of this, and then it goes down, you see, you know, you, you can adjust it. There goes another great spot up jump shot or big build jump shot, man. It's a little slower, but you know, the slower the jump shot, the easier it is to time. You know, and of course, bro, if you want the three point lower, bro, this all you got to do, you see? You can make it fit your needs. Okay. Now for a small build, bro. This is the only jump shot I, I recommend, dog. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with Steph Curry, man. That hoe, it don't be. I, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's so inconsistent, bro. I'm telling you, man. Um, this is like the only little guard jump shot I really mess with, bro. 
Now here is a 610 jump shot, bro. I have not used a 610 plus. I have not used this, but you know, I hear it's nice, okay? Here is another 610 jump shot. Again, I have not tried this, but I hear it's nice, man. You got nice grades. Y'all let me know uh, y'all's favorite jump shot down below too. What actually works for you, you know, help people out. Here goes another jump shot, the Chris Bob. Okay, look, I'm finna give y'all some tips, man. These skill boosts, man, listen. You want to shoot more consistent if you are struggling if you're not struggling and you could do without it don't do it but you notice a jump shot like <laughs> you just notice more shots falling when you when you buy this you know 2k is pay to win bro that that's just how it is i'm not telling y'all to do it and also if you get the gatorades bro you know they will help you because Gatorade is very important. The more stamina you have, the less your jump shot chains, all this and all that, the easier it is to time and have a more consistent jump shot instead of it going to straight RNG and you uh, guessing what jump shot is about to happen and what animation you're going to get and trying to guess this other person's animation to you. It's ridiculous, right? But hey man, also get gym rat, okay? Um, if you can't get gym rat, do your drills and make sure you get three star on everything so you get a bar to your um, your stamina that will help you greatly. And then if you like buy two or one, it'll it'll help you it'll help you get the double bar. But again, pay to win. If you could do it out, it you could do it out, it man. I, I'm just letting you know how it worked, my boy. Now look. If you feel you can't hit, bro, you can turn all of this off, right? That you know there there's a lag delay and um hold on, how do I put this whole on none? You know, instead of one of these things, because they say it adds more lag delay to your to your guy. You know, it's a theory, it's not tested. But if you're struggling to shoot, you could test this out, bro. You can um like just do none, you know, you can test this out. It's up to you. I don't do it, but you could do none. You can, uh, you know, I use this jump shot meter. By the way, do not use jump shot meter. Only play with no meter, bro. Don't use meter, okay? Ball trail, you could put this to none. If you feel like there's just too much lag delay, test it out. See if it works for you. And also, another thing. Here's another thing people do. The shot feedback, they turn it off. I don't do this, but it's just more lag delay, like taking off the game. You know, that's why people do stuff like this. They do something like this, they turn it on none, you know, but then you can't see people's names, but it's up to you, bro. Make sure your motion blur is off, okay? Turn it off. Get your sound effects right, man. If it's too loud, too low, get it right. I use very late. My shot type, and I have it on shots only. Um, I don't really mess with the layup thing. I make sure I have my vibration on. I like that. But it's up to y'all. Make sure you turn off your trigger effect. Too many of y'all have your trigger effect on, you old heads. I hear it through your mic, okay? I hear your, your, your controller rumbling. While you're not even touching anybody. Like, bro, it's a, it's a vibrator. It's a vibrator? Vibrator? Huh? Huh, nigga? You a grown man? You got your controller vibrating in your hand? Turn this off, bro. You got to turn it off in your PlayStation settings, too. So many people don't know this. You got your trigger effect on. It's going to mess up your shooting, bro. Spread the message. You know, these are my other settings overall. Um, I keep this on. And I keep my who to guard on. By the way, I see people keep taking off who to guard. Stop. It does not do anything. Okay? You take it off, it's not going to pull you less. Keep it on just so you're aware. Because everyone else smoke like most. And yeah, man. Here go the best badges. Hey, look. Here are the best shooting badges in general, bro. Okay? I don't have my shooting max on this build. But I'm going to just show y'all something. Agent 3s is the best badge for main ball handlers okay the best badge okay bar none it's not just fading it's not just pull-ups bro it's stopping uh pop 
it's everything. Every shot you take while like moving, rhythm shooter, it's all combined into this badge. So if you are a main ball handler, put this shit on max, bar none, bro, okay? Um, even catch and shoot, when you're a main ball handler, you want this, bro, because you can shoot it instantly. And like, even with the fade shot, your catch and shoot's gonna pop up and the agent threes, and then you could catch them hoes even more. Everyone is leaving everyone open, bro. Okay, like all levels, bro. Like, especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that. Catch and shoot, it, it changes your game completely, bro. Especially if you are bad, bro. Uh, amped, you know, eh, you know, they, they say it reduces the penalty. It, it's, it's cool, bro. Um, and then Claymore, when you spot, when, you, when you're spotting up, you catch the ball and you wait. And then you shoot. This is more for spot-ups. But still, this is still a good thing for a main ball handler. You see, I got it low. And then the volume shooter, I'm going to eventually max out. Because, you know, it helps with every shot. But limitless range, you don't even need, bro. Because of the limitless takeover. I'm going to show you, bro. Look, I can keep shooting from half court with this badge. With the uh with the damn near seven seven what what was my three point like a seventy six three bro I can shoot from half court just with this badge on single like the single takeover and you can shoot from everywhere so you can save badge points without um even having limitless on you know it's still a good badge is it works it's it's a great badge but if you have like accelerator. And just limitless, you can just hit from limitless. So you can save badge points and be smart. I got a bunch of clips, bro, of uh me hitting from limitless. The dead eye, ugh, you know, it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't what it used to be. Blinder, same thing. Corner they say don't work. Some people say it do work. Green machine, they say it activate after the third shot until I hear otherwise, so it's not really as needed. Guard up, some people say don't even work. Um, space creator, all dependent to your style and mini. But yeah, your main badges that you want as a main ball handler, agent threes, amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume shooter, then the claymore, and then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro. You want catch and shoot max, claymore max. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not too, I don't, I don't, I don't know about guard up bro for a spot up you could do something like this bro really for a spot up it's really like the same badges bro it, it really is because they say uh corner specialists don't work it's really like the same badges man to be honest now maybe uh, i don't know about this dead eye and blinders bro i don't know bro I, I haven't been made a believer a lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff but i i i, I just haven't seen it you can shoot crabs people think it's blinders you can shoot crabs without blinders and it be OP. Like, I don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to, uh, you know, I don't know, bro. Basically, between spot ups and um, main ball handlers is you're just going to want to have clay more and catch and shoot more. That's basically it, bro, to, to keep it a hundred. And of course, these are going to be your main shit, you know, the catch and shoot and the claymore. But you want to be able to fade, and sometimes the game makes you fade, so you want to have this badge on still. This will be your third badge as a spot up that you will need. And um, y'all yeah. be sure to follow me on Twitch, man. Link is in the description. Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week, drink a gallon of water a day, and click on one of these two videos. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. We go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.